The report is called Remembering and Reimagining, and it's really an exploration both of the history of why the Episcopal Church is built the way it is, and also our Anglican roots, how we in the Episcopal Church embody those Anglican traditions and also ancient church traditions that go all the way back to the Book of Acts. So there's a really good study on the Book of Acts and the first time the church kind of had to call a church council to discuss a matter of doctrine and how they got everybody together in the same room and they worked through the issue to try to figure out what is the church's stance on that. And so, of course, church councils are kind of how we've made major doctrinal decisions all the way from the first century to today and are currently embodied in the Episcopal Church in our general convention and diocesan conventions where matters of doctrine are discussed today. So this report talks about why the Episcopal Church has these conventions and how we actually do theology in conventions, not just relying on some external authority or even just people with PhDs in theology to make those decisions, but how everybody, lay people, clergy, bishops, deacons, priests, how we're all involved in helping the church articulate doctrine. Another important principle is a concept called subsidiarity, which basically means that decisions need to be made as close to the local level as is possible. So like if a a local church is going to make a decision to open a new child care center, they probably don't need the direct permission of the diocese. But if they're going to open a new congregation, then the diocese needs to be involved. And so part of this ecclesiology report is a conversation about the concept of subsidiarity. How do we make decisions in the church where core doctrine matters need to be decided by everybody, probably at the general convention level or even the Anglican communion level, but local options. We want to make decisions as close to the ground as possible. So one of the unique things about uh, being an Anglican is the way authority and power works in our church and the principles of conciliarity and subsidiarity really matter. And so we thought we'd do this video just to let the church know that this report exists and so that they can find it and read it for themselves. It's an accessible report and it's a report that's divided into chapters. So if you just want to read about the book of Acts, you can do that. If you're interested in the history of the Episcopal Church and how we got to be that way, you can read that section. But this is the House of Bishops getting together and helping the church understand why do we do the things we do and how are those theological ideas embodied in our church structures.